Now, on to my guest this evening, and in just two years, the Mubadala Abu Dhabi Open has become a tennis event that feels like it's been on the calendar for decades. The WTA 500 tournament in February will again showcase some of the world's best female players, but returning for a second year as well is the Road to the Mubadala Open initiative, which helps aspiring players in the UAE to make their mark on the global tennis stage. Here with me now, to explain more is the tournament director of the Mubadala Abu Dhabi Open, Nigel Gupta. Nigel, fantastic to see you finally. Uh, we've been circling each other for a long time, but finally uh, got you to, to come in for a chat. As I said there in the introduction, it feels like this event has actually been around for a long time on the schedule in Abu Dhabi. We knew it in a different guise as an exhibition event, but is that the feeling amongst the tennis community that this event just feels right at the right time? Definitely, yeah. I think um, de from our point of view, the first couple of years were really to cement the event on the tour calendar, which we did in the first year. Um, and I think seeing the number of players returning again, it's obviously the perfect place for them to come for a few weeks, uh, start the season off strong and, and compete. We can't say any names yet. You're about to start announcing them, I think, in the, in the next few days, in fact. But you do attract the top ones, don't you? Many of the top ten are already coming here. How difficult is it to get them to commit to stuff like that um, in advance, so far in advance? Um, I think what we did really well with the first two years of the event is showcase Abu Dhabi as a whole as well. Mm. The facilities are amazing, uh, obviously the weather's great and everything they can do outside of tennis as well is really um, a benefit to us. So players already want to return and, and we're seeing that already uh, for, for 2025 with the agents reaching out to us already. Um, obviously on the sidelines of the actual event you do a lot of work with grassroots tennis as well. I mentioned the road to the Madbadler Open. This is a fascinating thing isn't it? This is to not just take kids who perhaps want to try tennis, it's to perhaps make them uh, think about a career in the sport. Definitely, I think that's one of the goals of uh, obviously having the tournament here is an amazing uh, thing to witness but then how are we developing the, the local talent that's already here in the UAE and this programme is really aimed to do that. Um, I guess in the hope that one day we'll be able to provide a pathway for a local Emirati female player to go and compete on the courts uh, in Abu Dhabi. Um, so for people who want to get tickets, tickets are on sale already. Uh, obviously the Abu Dhabi Sports Council is a, is a big backer of the project as well. How can people get involved and get those tickets? Obviously the final tickets are the ones that everybody wants, aren't they? Exactly, <laughs> selling fast as well. So I, I would head to our website, which is mabadlaabudhabiopen.com, where all the information is there. Wonderful. Nigel, terrific to see you. I know you're busy planning and everything and you're about to announce uh, players, but really appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you.